To play Star Citizen with a PS5 controller, it has to be emulated as an Xbox controller and the extra inputs, like the touchpad, are then mapped to keyboard and mouse controls. To do this, you need the DS4 Windows software. You can go to this website, hit download. Once it's downloaded, go to the downloads, extract the zip file. This software does not need to be properly installed, so we just take this folder, move it to whichever programs folder we want it to be in, then get inside, hit uh, DS4 Windows Exe, double click. Uh, the profiles can go to App Data, you can choose the other folder as well. Now we need the DualSense device support for the PS5 controller. Now we need to install the drivers, hit next, folder doesn't matter for me. There's two optional driver installs which could help with the controller support. This would be hit hide. and the faker input. Okay, finished. Now to fully install this it has to be restarted, but I will not do this now since these are optional. This is the DS4 Windows software. We can see that no controller is connected right now. Let's first go back to the website and download the uh, controller mappings. So we go to this mods page, files, download the zip file. Once it is downloaded, go to the downloads folder, extract the zip file. These are all the files we need for the mappings. So we take now the DS4 Windows profile file, we go to percent app data percent, find DS4 Windows, make sure you are in app data roaming, not local, go to profiles, paste the file here. Then take the layout PS5 exported XML file. This is for Star Citizen. Go to the Star Citizen install folder. Go to user, client, zero, controls, mappings, and paste the XML file here. Now this makes it available in game, although it's not assigned yet. The other files are just for uh, looking at the bindings as PNG files. And I also included the DrawIO files, which is an online diagram software, so you can modify these uh, binding uh, pictures as well. Now go to the DS4 Windows software to import the profile. Click the tab profiles, click import, click the XML file. DS4 Windows crashes for me, but that's fine. You just start it again. If you don't have the shortcut in the taskbar, you uh, can just go to the program install folder. Now go to Profiles, here it is. You can double click this and edit the profile if you want, but this is not necessary now, cancel. The controller needs to be connected. When I start the controller, it connects to Bluetooth. Now I need to assign the profile to this controller. So I click here under Controllers, Selected Profile, the Star Citizen Profile. Now you can see the color of the LED on the controller should turn orange and stay orange. If the controller has low battery, the color should turn red. If it, the color did not change, something didn't work. Now make sure it says stop here, which means that the system is running correctly. Now we need to start Star Citizen. When in the game, go to the options menu, keybinds, 
Now click on this button here to go to Gamepad, Advanced Controls Customization. Now you can click on Control Profiles and select here PS5. This option will only show up if you move the XML file into the Star Citizen user folder. Here we select every mapping from keyboard, mouse, gamepad, it might say NA here, but it still works, and for the joystick as well. The joystick bindings are all cleared because they can interfere with the gamepad bindings. Exit the menu, and now you should be able to play with PlayStation 5 controller.